puts a field of 11, the Pompano track record and the world record shared by Kind of a Hush and me, Maggie, 156 and one. Well, calling the races for us tonight since Gary Seibel, the regular announcer here at Pompano Harness is working on our broadcast, is a shipper from the Meadowlands, one of the voices at the Big M. Let's welcome aboard Ken Warkington, and we'll call the action starting with this live three-year-old Philly Trot. The 1992 Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly Trot. And far back at the start, Keystone Bravo. And they're off. Worldly Woman leaves fast from the inside for Bruce Regal. And from the extreme outside of the field comes B. Rude as they hit the first turn. Worldly Woman, B. Rude up to challenge early from between horses. That's Jinjin Hanover in the third spot, saving ground towards the inside. That's Peace Play moving up in the fourth spot. Keystone Bravo now up to be fifth on the outside. Royal Jewel is sixth. Armbro Keepsake is back in the pack in seventh position. Caught three wide early. As they come by the grandstand, sweet young thing. The opening quarter, a quick 27 and three. Worldly woman making her present felt here with Bruce Freak Regal on top. Leads it by two lengths. B root is second. Peace play getting a good trip on the inside. Third. Parked out. Jinjin Hanover. Keystone Bravo on the outside. Fifth. Around the club turn. Royal Jewel is sixth. We Caitlin seventh. Armbro keepsake. Still a lot of ground to make up for Campbell. Then it's imperfection towards the inside. As they pass the half, almost an angel, and the trailer on the outside beginning to roll now. Sweet young thing. The half 57 and 3. So we'll look for the closers. Worldly Woman by length now as they come alive in the back stretch. Worldly Woman with B Root on the inside. Second arm broke keepsake. Being set up three wide for Campbell. Imperfections right behind her with Mike Lachance. Dropping back Ginger and Hanover between horses. Peace play on the inside six. Sweet young thing looking to circle up for Harold Kelly. Then it's Keystone Bravo. And they're at three quarters and one, 27. Midway on the final turn, it's been Worldly Woman so far. Imperfection in high gear on the outside of her, Mike Lachance. Armbro Keepsake right there, and B-Root has set a perfect trip. Brett Schultz needs racing room, they're in the stretch drive. Here is Imperfection and Mike Lachance to call her Worldly Woman. B-Root comes flying out of the pocket. Down to the wire, it's Imperfection. B-Root second, Worldly Woman third. Imperfection, a late surge from Keystone Bravo on the far outside. It was Imperfection and Mike Lachance in 157. So it's Imperfection, driven to victory by Mike Lachance, trained by a guru in the trotting ranks, Ronnie Gerfine, and owned by the Imperfection stable, Monticello, New York. Imperfection now with 10 wins on the year in 19 starts. You can see what happens in a bulky field like that. Worldly Woman with the rail in the best position there, and she fired off some very, very quick fractions, 57 into the half. She had the lead the whole way. B. Rude on the inside had a perfect trip, but the Philly imperfection, she stayed fairly close up throughout, was on the outside, but managed to last right to the wire with B. Rude closing strongly between horses for local trainer driver Brett Schultz, but imperfection and Mike Lachance capture this event here impressively. So Imperfection not eligible for the Kentucky Futurity and the Hamiltonian, but she had beaten the boys and she gets sweet revenge here by winning the three-year-old Philly Trot. Welcome back to Pompano Harness, where Imperfection has won our first race of the night. The three-year-old chestnut filly out of nearly perfect the, by the uh, Speedy Crown Mare Bridal Path. By nearly perfect out of the Speedy Crown Mare Bridal Path and owned by Imperfection Stable, comprised by Phil Tully, Jerry and Rosalie Silva, Phyllis and Dennis Labati, and Wendy Goldberg, and bred by High Society Racing Stable of Chicago, Illinois. 
Phil Tully bought this horse last year at the Harrisburg sale for $100,000, despite the fact that she was tiny, despite the fact that she had only two stakes races scheduled for this year. He knew that she was one of the best gated trotters he had seen, and his confidence in buying this filly for $100,000 has been rewarded tonight. This victory makes her the three-year-old trotting filly champion. So Imperfection, your race winner, was a tremendously talented field, and we didn't really know what to expect, but the public knew what they were doing because Imperfection was the second choice. Tremendously talented, Bruce, and I think Worldly Woman, by leaving at the rail, kind of dictated what Armbro Keepsake and Imperfection were going to do. When they saw her leave as quickly as, as she did, they decided to take back both John Campbell and Mike Lachance. Now, Mike Lachance benefited from the fact that he could follow Armbro Keepsake, and when she went three wide on the back stretch, moved with her cover, Armbro Keepsake ran out of gas, but Imperfection didn't. Fact remains that he went clear around Armbro Keepsake, just overpowered her. And Stan, Ron Gerfine has become a magic man with trotters. Well, he has. He's going to become more magic because he bought and had owners buy for him this year some of the top yearlings in the yearling market. You'll see and hear more of Ron next year. He's going to have a powerhouse stable. So, so Imperfection's victory tonight certainly amplified by the quality of this field. Well, this is the fourth time she's met Armbro Keepsake. She's now finished ahead of her three times. I think this clinches it tonight as the title. And there's a good look at Mike Lachance. This is his seventh Breeders' Crown victory. Mike Lachance, always a man you'd like to have behind the bike. Both Mike Lachance and a happy Ron Gerfine right alongside of him. And uh, both of those guys happy. But I got to tell you that Brett Schultz, a little trainer uh, with B. Rude there, and she has a lot of speed away from the gate, too. He's got to be smiling now, finishing second in this event, uh, and a great effort by B. Rude. She is the New Jersey champion and tough. Here are the prices in perfection, returning $5.60, $4 and $4. Price is okay. B. Rude was second, $10.60 and $6.20. Keystone Bravo, $6 to show. Time of the mile, 157 flat.